Kia ora, my name is Morgan Grace. I'm a third year student studying a Bachelor of Education, specialising in primary. Kia ora, my name is Emma. Um, recently I've completed my Bachelor of Sports, Health and Physical Education here at the University of Auckland. Um, last year I completed my graduate diploma specialising in health and physical education for secondary. Um, and this year I've started my brand new job at Long Bay College teaching health and physical education to secondary school students. Kia ora, I'm Fiona, um, I'm the Associate Dean of Teacher Education here at the Faculty of Education and Social Work at the University of Auckland. Um, my specialism is in Mathematics Education and I'm a fully registered primary school teacher. Fiona, why did you become a teacher? I became a teacher because I really enjoyed watching people learn and learning new things. I was involved with lots of, I used to do girl guides and children's groups and stuff like that and I just really loved helping people learn. What about you Emma? I've always had this great passion for being active. I've always loved sports um, and I really, really enjoy helping others and being involved with others. Um, Morgan, why did you decide to become a teacher? I was a teacher assistant in Scotland for a year and it's just, I developed a love for watching children grow and I got excited to go to work every day. Emma, what is your most memorable teaching experience? Um, I guess across the the first year of teaching and my placement as well, something I've really valued is developing relationships with my students. Um, I feel that's something um, crucial to my students learning, my teaching. I don't think that you can teach without knowing who it is that you're teaching. Um, and so recently I've received feedback from some of my students and one of the main things that comes through is that my teacher cares. Um, and so if I've got anything done anything right in my um, experience teaching so far, I feel like developing those relationships and getting that feedback back has been a, a really key part of my teaching experience so far. Well there's lots of things that I remember, um, I think the best ones are probably things to do with um, teaching kids how to create things. I used to do a lot of stuff with music, taking the choir, the school productions, that sort of thing, teaching kids to paint. Just the um, excitement of showing kids they can do something they didn't think that they could do before. They start out and they, oh, I don't think I can do that and I don't know what to do and by the end of it they've got something beautiful and they're very proud of themselves. So that's probably the most memorable thing that and the children having the class guinea pigs in their lunch boxes during wet lunch time. So Fiona, what are the different teaching education programs that you can study here at the university? Okay Morgan, so we have two, um, basically two pathways. One is a three year undergraduate pathway, the one that you're doing, and one is the one year graduate pathway, which is the one that Emma's done. If you're a graduate with a degree, you can do early childhood, primary or secondary education for one year, become a, a um, provisionally registered teacher. If you haven't got a degree, you do a three year program and you can do primary or ECE um, teaching that way. And we have Hurahi Māori, which is a Māori immersion program and we have an English medium program. And we teach the English medium and Huarahi Māori programs for B.Ed, both here at Epsom and at Taitokoro in Whangarei. And we teach uh, the primary program here and at Taitonga in South Auckland. How do these programs prepare you to be a classroom ready teacher? Um, that's, that's the big question, Morgan. How do we make classroom ready teachers? So we try to have a mix of things that you do at university and things that you do uh, in schools or centres on practicum experiences. So in a normal year, uh, we have lots of time out in schools and centres for people to work backwards and forwards between being the teacher in a classroom and then learning more about how to do that here. Um, we put a lot of emphasis on teaching as inquiry, so learning how to learn really as a teacher. We can't teach you everything before you start, but the idea is to have an orientation towards your teaching that means that when something doesn't work, you know how to try something new, you know where to find out more. Um, I think it's the opportunities. Um, the opportunities are huge and vast. The opportunity, I guess, first to um, really develop that content knowledge, what it is you're delivering in your classroom, then the opportunities for that practical application to be in the classroom and immersed in that kind of, um, those dynamics. Um, behaviour management is something you can learn about in a lecture hall, um, but it's not really, you're not immersed in it until you step foot in that classroom, which I think is, is a huge part, that, that practicum is absolutely massive in terms of opportunities. Um, and then also the opportunity to reflect. So after being in that practical kind of um, environment, coming back, talking to your peers, um, to your lecturers, um, and developing that understanding of, okay, this is what I've done, this is what worked, this didn't work, and this is where I'm gonna go from here. And as teachers, I think that's something you do continuously is reflect and develop as you go, so. so COVID-19 has had a significant impact on the education sector. 
Online learning is as important now more than ever. How do our teaching programs prepare students for digital learning? So digital learning is part of all of our programs uh, in a couple of ways. One is that in each of our courses students are exposed to digital resources and pedagogies they can use and we do use um, digital elements sometimes as part of assessments as well, so you have to learn and master some of those things in order to pass your assessments. Uh, we try to uh, deliver our work um, using digital pedagogies at times, um, and when we were in lockdown last year we learned a lot about that, but we're trying to increasingly use digital pedagogy ourselves to, to model that. And we have our students go into classrooms and um, schools and centres where people are using digital pedagogy and they get a chance to use that with learners as well. Fiona, can you please tell us about other education related programs that you can study and what different career paths they may offer? Yes I can. We have, we have qualifications that might sound a bit like they're teaching qualifications but they're actually qualifications that don't make you into a registered teacher but they do teach you a lot about the education area. We teach education into liberal arts so you can major in education and arts degree. We have a Bachelor of um, Early Childhood Studies starting in 2022 which is all about childhood and early childhood education and conceptualisations of childhood for people who are interested in early childhood more broadly, perhaps from a policy perspective or um, owning, managing um, early childhood facilities. And then we have a degree for um, people interested in teaching English to speakers of other languages, so that looks at um, second language acquisition. What advice would you give to someone who's thinking about studying education? Do it. You don't have anything to lose. Um, you're surrounded by amazing, like-minded people that offer you a world of different perspectives and the opportunities are just endless. Absolutely take those opportunities. Yeah, I agree. Go for it. Um, education is a really interesting area. Um, there's so many different places that you can take an education, um, teaching degree, lots of skills that you learn. You learn a lot about yourself and it's a lot of fun, actually. What about you, Morgan? What would you say? Just like Emma said, just do it. There's nothing bad can come out of it. If anything, you learn heaps about yourself, how you learn and how other people learn, and it's so valuable. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions about studying education or University of Auckland, just come talk to us.